Hello and welcome back to Bioinformatics series of Explore Bio and in today's video you will learn in very simple terms what a de novo assembly is, what are the major challenges in de novo assembly and some of the most popular de novo assemblers used for assembling the genome and transcriptome. Genome and transcriptome of most eukaryotic organisms are huge and complex to be entirely sequenced in a single go. In order to sequence the entire genome or transcriptome, most sequencing approaches follow shotgun sequencing procedure. In this, the large fragments of DNA or complementary DNA is first broken down to short chunks which can be sequenced by a sequencing instrument. After the sequencing is completed, these short fragments which are called as reads are aligned and assembled based on overlapping regions to form larger fragments which is the reflection of entire genome or transcriptome. When you already have a reference genome sequence of an organism available, you can map the sequenced reads generated in your experiment to that already known reference sequence. This is called as reference based assembly. But what if you do not have a reference genome sequence for your organism of interest available? You still can align and assemble the sequences based on the overlapping regions of the reads generated without a reference. Thus, assembling the reads to longer contigs, scaffolds and chromosomes without the reference information is termed as de novo assembly. The meaning of de novo is from the very beginning. Such sequencing is termed as de novo sequencing. The sequence assemblers utilizes different set of algorithms to precisely assemble the reads to transcripts or contigs or scaffold or chromosome based on minimum number of overlapping bases at the end of each read, also known as KMRs. Distance between the reads in paired end reads and incorporates gaps if required. Filling in these gaps may require longer read sequencers such as PacBio and Nanopore. For large genome assemblies, a combination of short and long read sequencing is often seen more useful. Coming on to the major challenges faced during the de novo assembly. Huge, complex polyploid genome with lots of repetitive DNA and heterozygosities is the major challenge in the accurate sequence assembly. Errors in sequencing, low genome coverage and low depth of sequencing are some of the other problems that needs to be considered while going for de novo sequencing. OSS, Velvet, Abyss, Soap de novo, CLC Genomics Workbench, Trinity are some of the most popular sequence assembly tools. Each of these have their own advantages and limitations that needs to be considered before selecting one for your study. If you find the video useful, do share it with others. Do check out my playlist on bioinformatics, research, publishing, markers and others. Comment below for your queries and requests. I usually respond to them. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay informed about my latest uploads.